folks. I just wanted to give a real quick little update as to uh, how to recognize each one of these individual Paranthropus species. These are pretty much in, in chronologic order, um, starting with Paranthropus ethiopicus, Paranthropus boisei, and Paranthropus robustus. Now, let me give you a quick touch up. Let me tell you really quickly an easy way to tell these things apart. First of all, Ethiopicus, also known as the black skull. Paranthropus Ethiopicus, yes, in between the actual fossils. Here's the fossil, right? This is this lighter kind of dark brown color. And then this blackened part is really the clay. This is the in between the fossils fill in spot just to kind of fill it all in. Well, in spite of this being black, which is what it is, but actually it's named the black skull because when this fossil came out of the ground, it was really dark. So they call this the black skull, but you can see from the side, it's got this very posterior sagittal crest that is way back, kicked to the back. You can see it. It looks almost like a Greek helmet. Uh, some people think it looks like a shoe. Other people say it's like a merman. This is Paranthropus ethiopicus, found, go figure, in Ethiopia. Ethiopicus, Ethiopia. Paranthropus gets its name from para, meaning very similar to us, but not quite in our family tree. This is Paranthropus boisei. You can think of, what's the capital of Idaho? Boise, Idaho. Now, this wasn't found in Boise, Idaho. It was actually the um, trip was funded by the Boise family, and that's when they found this. Therefore, they, as a salute to the Boise I family, or to the Boise family, they named it Paranthropus Boisei. Huge teeth. About five times the size, the molars are about five times the size of our own. So, how do I do this one. Well, if you look at it, dark, this is the white color that they use for the clay in between, and this is a lighter tan color. Even though these are all from the same individual, this is stained lighter, this is stained darker. It looks to me like, get a load of this, a calico cat. What Dr. Falsight mentioned about the overall look, having a sagittal crest, flaring zygomatics, huge teeth, that is all very good for Paranthropus. <laughs> look at that. That is all good for Paranthropus, but in this case, Boise eye. Looks like a calico cat. Ethiopicus, black skull, looks like, I don't know, a merman. And the last one, this is where I go crazy. You look at this, it's got this very yellowy color to it. Do you guys remember that cereal corn pops? Well, Paranthropus robustus, I think looks like a corn pop. It's this sort of light yellow tone. So there you go. Those are my way of differentiating between the three Paranthropus. Paranthropus ethiopicus, Boisei, and Robustus.